Okay. What's up, guys? Uh, last video of the night. NBA talk. Uh, let's talk about those Houston Rockets versus LA Clippers. This is, was a very touch, um, tough match, matchup going in. Um, yeah, Clippers won. They pulled out. It's just that that offense is just hitting, hitting them, hitting that Houston Rockets hard and hard and hard into a point where it just broke. Uh, in the overtime though, because the Houston Rockets uh, showed force. They showed um, intensity. They showed um, the the will the willingness the willingness to keep going and stop. Do not give up on it on uh, in this game. Um, this is this was a very high scoring game. Very high scoring game. Uh, very much. Um, the Clippers were able to win 140 to 132. Big money. Big time points going in. Um, let's look at the Houston uh, Rockets. Um, yeah, Trevor Reza having 18 points, 4 assists, 2, sh um, two rebounds, uh, 6 out of 11 shooting, 2 from 3 point range. Uh, uh, Capella. Um, uh, seven points, three rebounds. Uh, he didn't play so much. Uh, this game, I think he left around the. I believe around the third quarter. I I don't know what happened. Uh, Dwight Howard playing a monster game, and for the past couple of weeks, this guy has been coming live because they keep now. They are giving him the ball. Down low, giving him shots, giving him more than 10 shots. Thank you. Now he's starting to look like the Dwight Howard of old now. He truly is now. Uh, he racked up 36 points, um, 26 rebounds. 36 points, 26 rebounds. The boy was a beast. And he was making his free throws. Making his free throws, man. This is the the White Howard we, need. the Houston Rocket needs. This is what they need from him. Um, uh, James Harden showed up a little bit. Um, twenty points. Uh, not good on the um, um for the field goal range. Uh, five five out of twelve shooting. But eight assists. Um. Uh, he did. He did something. That's the least. Uh, he did something like he always does. Um, Patrick Beverly left. Um, I think uh, I sometime around the second quarter or third, uh, because I think his ankle was still bothering him because he's been out in and out of the lineup um, for quite a while now. Looks like he's still hurt. Um, You didn't get really much from the bench except for Marcus Thorne, who was clutch, who got two three point, uh, two back to back three point shots to tie this game and put this game in an overtime. Hey, very good, very very good. Um, now let's look at the Los Angeles Clippers. Uh, Paul Pierce had twelve points. Um. Um. Pretty solid. He didn't play him that much. Uh, they limited his minutes still. Limit his minutes until Paul Griffin comes back. I mean, Blake Griffin. Because right? that guy's been out for a while now. And he's coming back soon, very soon. Um, DeAndre Jordan has 16 points, 15 rebounds, 2 block shots. And this is typical uh, DeAndre um, Jordan night. Uh, uh, J.J. Redick played beastly. He played beast like. Um, he had forty points, a nine out of twelve shooting from the three point range. Nine three point field goal is crazy. He was light. He was lit. Uh, Paul Pierce put in his work in twenty eight points. Um, twenty eight points, twelve assists. Um. Six rebounds, six steals. 
Uh, we got something from the bench. Um, Aldrich had eight points coming in for you. You had Jamal Crawford. Still got something left in him. 17 points. Uh, Wesley Johnson has uh, 11 points for you. This is what I'm saying. This is what the Clippers have been missing. You need your squad to step up. You cannot rely so much on the starter. Sometimes you're going to need that bench to uh, pull something out just in case one of the players from the starting lineup does not pick up their load. And this is a good night for them. Um, they showed up, especially in overtime. So that's it. Uh, Clippers go 27 and 14. Uh, Houston Rockets 22 and 21. Still, I believe, in the 8th, 7th or 8th seat. Maybe. I don't know which one. But this is one hell of a game. So that's it for me tonight. Uh, hope to uh, see you guys tomorrow or so. So until then, peace.